Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I wanted to ask, how are you? Are you doing okay? I feel like we don't ask that enough. Just let me know how your creative process is doing and just how you're doing in general. I wanted to do tonight a periwinkle piece. So I had a purple and a grayish blue, both from Amsterdam, that I'm gonna mix together. There was something about the kind of pastel, kind of soft color that was really appealing to me. I'm also gonna do it in a U shape as well. I've been doing it kind of as a, when I do two canvases, one this way and one that way. I wanted to do them both to kind of meet in the middle. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of unity. Let's see what happens. Hi guys, it is Molly. I wanted, these are rather large. These are 15 by 30 inch canvases and I mixed together almost to get a periwinkle color, the um, ultramarine violet light hue and the um, bluish gray, both from Amsterdam. And the color that I got is amazing. It's this gorgeous periwinkle purple color. Um, so I picked my color palette tonight to basically stick with two contrasting darker colors, two lighter, softer colors to go with the periwinkle. And then I chose a bronze because I'm using a magenta, a blue green, a, um, I mix turquoise and um, turquoise blue and turquoise green together. And then I made this peach color which is really, really pretty. It's a little more orange than pink, but it's kind of a pastel. And then I thought that this bronze would go well. So when you're doing picking color palettes and things like that, that's how I do it. I like to go with a couple contrasting uh, bright or dark colors, maybe a couple with a little bit less saturation. Um, and then I pick my metallic um, based on the color kind of color hues that I have going on. So I am going to do this time a U up here. So I'm going to have both of my, I'm doing a split color. I'm going to have my colors here and maybe here. And then this will be white on both. And this will be the periwinkle color. I don't know, maybe I should have done the big one with periwinkle and white as the, hmm. I'll stick with what I originally had. So I'm gonna do um, the periwinkle color down here, white up there, and then flow the colors in a U down the side. So let's see, I may blow in a little bit more so that there's not so much negative space because this is a large canvas, or large, these are large canvases. So I'm gonna start, so I'm, I think I'll do my line right here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the periwinkle. This is an opaque, Color, both colors I mixed together were opaque. So I think that I should have good coverage without doing anything else to it. And then it's gonna storm here soon, so you guys may hear some thunder or lightning at some point. It is Florida, so. Okay. So let me blow these out and see what happens. Oh. It's so, I do have plastic down on my floor, but the canvases are hanging off and it just dripped all on my toes. <laughs> Who wants paint on their toes? That's so weird. Oh, what a weird feeling. Okay. I mean, let's be honest, I have paint all over me. Sometimes I track it in the house and my husband gets upset with me. Okay, Whew. ready to go. <laughs> that took a while. So I think honestly, I wanna start, so I normally start with a darker color. I'm debating the, uh, okay. I think I'll go with this one, with the, I 
and I'm coming a little bit on the inside of it here and a couple of the colors I'm gonna dip down because I do want it, I don't want it to be a perfect you. And I do kind of want the colors to blow off the sides a little bit, almost like it's encasing. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, problem pseudo solved. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't paint tonight. I'm gonna leave that because when I blow, it'll blow down. <laughs> blow that off. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so now I'm going to go with, hmm, I think I'm going to go with my pink next. Wow, this canvas is big. <laughs> Acrylic flooring in a U. All right, almost there. Now for, oh, I love this peach color. Yes, I love that. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, this color combination. Okay, this is always the scary part. I'm adding the metallic and bronze to me, so I'm just gonna drip this, I think. Bronze can definitely be one to take over a painting. And it's got that kind of brownish red tint to it. All right, so I'm gonna do, I don't have that much white left, yikes. So just a tiny little bit there. And a tiny little bit there. And then just a tiny little bit, because I'm gonna save the rest of this for touch-ups. Okay, here, we go. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased with the color combination. So the only thing that I'm going to do is just blow a little bit in here. I actually don't like what I just blew there, so I'm just gonna blow this paint back over here. See, problem fixed. Wow, this blue-green. 
It's actually very hard for me to lean over. You guys know how I am with my little curly cues here. Okay, I'm going to keep fiddling and then I'll show you the wet results and then I'll show you the dry results. Y'all, it's on my toes. <laughs> you guys ask about the sides sometimes too. I leave them just like that because I think that runoff is beautiful like that. Sometimes I go in and if there's not a ton of coverage, I'll paint back over, but um, like I'll paint in between these and still leave the drips. All right, let's check this out. It's actually kind of hard to get them both in frame, but wow, I love the colors that I chose. The bronze was just enough. Look at this area up here. What? All right, let me show you the other one. Those little flecks of orange. Look at that crazy section right there. Just beautiful. I love my U. It's not really a U, it's kind of funky but I love it. All right, I'll show you the dried result. I can't even get these all the way in frame. <gasps> My table's in the way. Maybe I can stand from over there. Oh, I'm stretching back. These are stunning. That bronze was perfect because it accentuated that orange color that I made. It's storming here, can you hear it? I mean, the lacing is just beautiful. That metallic, the way it shines, those little pops of bold gold. Let me see if I can get it from this way, there we go. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. I love that part right there. Well, there it is, the U shape. You guys let me know what you think. Happy painting. Bye.